Hello and welcome to another Sprues and Brews unboxing video and in today's video we're going to be checking out a new tank for the Horus Heresy. It is of course the Scorpius missile tank and um, for those who maybe not sort of into the Horus Heresy this is basically your equivalent of um, 40k's whirlwind and um, so you've got the Rhino chassis with some tasty missiles on top. So Games Workshop very kindly sent us this to review for you and unbox uh, and paint for the website. I believe Jay is going to be uh, doing the honours with this one. I think he's planning on painting it in Blood Angels colours. Um, so a nice shiny red um, tank incoming. Um, of course, as with all these sort of Horus Heresy releases at the moment, they show them off in the two colours of the Imperial Fist and the Sons of Horus. They're the kind of two armies that they're really pushing at the moment uh, with the relaunch of the Horus Heresy. Can't believe it's um, it's already been over six months now, I think, since um, the Age of Darkness box came out. And they've been quite rapid with um, the amount of sort of tank releases and upgrade packs and stuff. Um, and I, I think loads of people are playing it. I know I've, I've yet to have a game of the, the Heresy. Um, but I know we're going to be playing it over Christmas uh, as Jay and Matt are very much into it. But anyway, that's um, that's going off subject slightly. So let's get back to this unboxing. Um, so as far as I'm aware, we haven't really got much in the way of options on this, but we'll find out when we come into the when we get to the sprues. However, like I said, you've got the this sort of Scorpius system on the top, um, and it shows on here with um, combi bolters. So. Let us open up this box and check out its contents. Okay, it is time to check out the sprues. So the first one I'm going to pull out here uh, appears to be um, part of the, the main missile there, the main weapon system. Yeah, it looks like the, at least half it's on there. Bring out the next sprue. So we've got quite a few more pieces on here. Um, it looks like we've got the option of a couple of different heads for a, for a gunner that you can have popping out the top of the turret. Um, we've got the bolters on there, the combi bolters. There are some other weapon options on here. I think that looks like a um, oops, that looks like a, a flamer. Um, we've got a couple of different hatch options, the body and such of the the gunner. Very cool. Oh, it looks like there's a searchlight on there as well. Um, just at the top there. We'll soon see when we have a look at the... Um, oh, there's a Volkite weapon there as well. We'll soon uh, see when we have a look at the assembly instructions in a moment. And the next proof. Looks like the top of the Rhino there. A few of the key components for the, the main part of the tank. And then we've got the last sprue, which is quite a large sprue and has the majority of the, the base tank on there. So start on that side, you've got the two sides of the Rhino, the um, the base, the back interior, the back door. So standard Rhino. Standard Rhino sprue there, your exhaust and such. So I'll pop that there. What else do we have in this box? We have got the assembly instructions. So let's take a, a quick peek through these. All usual warnings and such on the front. Looks like standard Rhino assembly, standard sprue. No change, obviously the, the heresy ones have the slightly different doors with slightly different shape. Putting the exhaust on, putting your nice cool rounded doors on for a heresy. And then it looks like um, the missile's actually made up of quite a few different parts. But there you go. That's how you fit it and put it on top of your Rhino. And then here we go, different weapon options. So we've got uh, on the sprue, the combi bolts that we've seen on the box. Um, combi weapons, here we go. Bolter, flamer, melter gun, plasma gun, and Volcat charger. Oh, and you've also got the options on the sprue to put a Havoc launch on there as well. Which is very cool, I like that. More missiles, that's what you need. Close hatch if you don't want one of the pintle mounted. Or you've got a heavy flamer or heavy bolter. Hunter killer missile, smoke launcher, searchlight as well. So you've got lots of upgrades. 
and these sort of dozer blades at the front as well. Whoops. And there you've got three different versions, different configurations there. I personally like the one with the Havoc launcher. Missiles upon missiles. It's very cool. Um, so that's that. So we've got the instructions. There is one last thing in the box. And that is some tank transfers. Uh, unfortunately, just for the Fists and the Sons of Horus. And um, great if you have one of those. Otherwise, you might have to look on Forge World of Games Workshop for transfers for your Legion. Um, so there you go. And that's the box. Uh, and that is the Scorpius Missile Tank. So quite a quick unboxing on this one. Um, like I say, Jay is planning on painting this up. So keep an eye on our social media channels at Spruce and Brews over on Twitter or Facebook.com forward slash Spruce and Brews. Also keep an eye on our website, spruceandbrews.com. And we'll be posting uh, much more content as well. Uh, I know we've got a couple of things going up this morning on YouTube. Um, I know I've also been editing Andy's video for his goblins for Warhammer Underworlds. So make sure you check that out as well. I hope you've enjoyed this quick unboxing video. We will be back with more content very soon. Until then, have a great time hobbying and I'll speak to you all again very soon. Bye.